I have to say, this color, <laughs> you can fit like a desi ghagra in here. A lot of extra fabric in this region. Very beautiful. The crotch gusset doesn't really sit right. This is gonna ride up. Oh my god, I, I didn't realize this until now. Shaping happening between your thighs. Very like high quality. You've got to drop everything you're doing and go and purchase it. It's very subtle, but I think it's very flattering. Luxe feeling. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shravani and I'm so happy to have you here. Today's video is going to be all about reviewing Gymshark. Now this is my first time purchasing from Gymshark ever. It's been about a month since I purchased these pieces and I've put them through a couple of different workouts. I've done low intensity resistance training. I've also done high intensity, high impact workouts like Zumba and I have my thoughts on this collection. I also have a bag that I want to review for you guys which I'm super excited about. So if you're interested in learning more and finding out whether Gymshark is truly worth your money, please keep on watching. Alright, so let's start off by introducing the collection. Now, Gymshark has been doing seamless leggings for a while now and I personally have never purchased seamless. I'm I've always been the kind of girl who loves, you know, those double brushed fabrics that are really soft, really smooth on the skin. But those kind of fabrics have pros and cons. And one of the cons is I find leggings in that material tend to slip down and I'm constantly like pulling them up. So I was looking up the Gymshark website for a while. I was like, okay, what should I purchase? And nothing really stood out until I came across the Gymshark Vital Seamless Neutrals Collection. So now apparently this collection was made for women of color and as an Indian woman I was like you know what I've got to try this out. So this collection has a sports bra, it has shorts, it has leggings and also a full sleeve crop top and it comes in a variety of colors which I'm going to put up on the screen right now so you get a reference. Now these shades are supposed to complement brown skin tones and that's why I found it super interesting. Now while you can really mix and match and find a shade that works for you, I personally loved the cherry brown color. I think I've been gravitating towards browns in general and when I saw this deep color, which let me just show you, this is what the color looks like. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. I, I saw this on the website and I was like, you know what, if I'm going to purchase anything from this collection, it has to be in this color, right? So I got the leggings and I also got the full sleeve crop top and I have my thoughts on this. The only reason I didn't buy the shorts and the sports bra is because I wanted to try these out first, see how I'm feeling and then invest in that because it is kind of expensive. For starters, let's talk about the price. Now, this pair of leggings cost me $65. Now, I'm gonna put up the conversion to dirhams and also rupees on the screen right here. So, it's by no means an affordable legging at all. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna put up my measurements here on the screen. Generally, I am a size small in all leggings. I am like between, I would say, a small and medium when it comes to tops or sports bras. So, starting off with the leggings. Now, I got this pair of leggings in a size medium the reason i did that the reason i sized up from my regular size is because i was watching a few review videos before i purchased this and a lot of people said that these leggings run really really tight like the waistband is super tight and constricting uh, and that's why they recommended to size up so i did that just quickly look at the waistband you can see it's got a really nice ribbed material all the way down a very wide waistband i think it hikes up a little bit higher than i'd like but that could also be because of you know my height and how my body is however i did find that this waistband is not as constricting as most people said it is in fact if i just show you the stretch it's pretty stretchy but i do think i could have you know stuck to my regular size small for one main reason before that let me just show you what the body of this legging looks like so you can see that there's no front seam whatsoever so you're not gonna have camel toe issues right here the front seam sometimes can really dig in for us women and then it can be very uncomfortable and also you know make you a little bit conscious so this kind of legging takes that away completely if you look at the crotch gusset it's like a lemon oval sort of a shape over here and then at the back there is a seam if you look at the back of the legging you will also see this detailing that goes around your glutes and personally I think that is a little bit flattering it adds that extra oomph to your glutes so I really like that and also down the side we have this 
sort of a whole dotted print going on all the way till the bottom and it starts off pretty scarce at the top and then it just becomes more more and more defined at the bottom when we talk about logos we have a logo up here this is the Gymshark logo so right at the bottom you have another piece of branding right there you also have this cuff over here now coming to the fit of these leggings I genuinely love how smooth they are when they slide on like can you see the stretch in this it's amazing and it's pretty easy to adjust however because I sized up to a medium I'm finding a lot of extra fabric in this region so it, it just looks a little weird and personally I like a legging that really sculpts my body uh, it doesn't stop me from wearing these I think ever since I've bought this pair of leggings it has been the one I'm reaching out for most overall I really like how it fits but I do think that you can stick to your original size now talking about the performance of these leggings if I'm gonna be honest personally what I found is that the legging does slip down on me a little bit and that could also be because it's one size above what I should have ordered and that's why it doesn't sort of suck in my waist as much or, or sort of stay in place that much so I do find myself pulling it up a little bit when I'm lifting at the gym or I'm doing something as intense as Zumba now because this size is a little bit loose for me sometimes what happens is the crotch gusset doesn't really sit right and it sort of starts to slip down a bit which which can lead to chafing happening between your thighs and that is honestly annoying and gets a little painful but again I think that this is owing to the size issue over here and I find myself tugging on these a little bit however it's not something that bothers me too much but in case it bothers you I thought I should let you know if you're spending $65 on a pair of leggings you want it to fit perfectly other than that I think the material itself is very breathable very airy I didn't feel hot and suffocated in it at all i think this was one of my main concerns going into purchasing something like this i always thought that it would be too thick and would make me feel really hot and overheated throughout my workout but that isn't the case at all i think the material is really light really breathable and it is something that i would repurchase so yeah that says a lot now moving on to the full sleeve crop top let me tell you i have never been a crop top girl but this time i was like you know what i've I just want to step out of my comfort zone. I like full sleeve things, but it's just I've never bought anything that's cropped. And th that sounds ironic because I'm wearing a crop top right now, but you know I've hiked my pants all the way up here, so there's not much skin showing through. Uh, anyway, I went ahead and I purchased the long sleeve crop top from the same collection in the same cherry brown color. This crop top costs $50. Again, I'm going to put the conversion up on the screen. So this is what it looks like. We've got a really nice long sleeve. Got that same sort of ribbing detail over here and also has a thumb hole. I love thumb holes, okay? And the neckline is is rounded like this. We've got branding here. We've also got branding at the back. Uh, there was a tag over here which I've cut off, not a very pretty manner, so let's ignore that. Now, my concerns uh, with buying this crop top was, you see how this neckline is? I really felt like it would, it would choke me, like I hate it when I have a top that ends right about here and then it just sort of digs in and it's just super uncomfortable but then I went through a lot of reviews and most of the people who purchased this or got this as affiliates said that it isn't constrictive or you know something that makes you feel suffocated at all and that's why I took a leap of faith and I got it um, at the back you can see again we've got a lot of that sort of dotted detail I don't really know if that's the correct word for it at the bottom you have like the same ribbing right now when i lift my hands up does this go up a little yes it does it doesn't really bother me but if it bothers you then it's something to keep in mind i have to say this color is gonna look good on all indian skin tones like i just know it if i wear this all the way up this is what it looks like there is barely any gap here so you can always you know wear this a little lower or situate this a little higher and then i think it'll look really flattering even on girls that are as short as I am. One thing to keep in mind is it will start like this and let's say I'm doing shoulder press, right? This is going to ride up all the way there. So right under my bust is where it rides up to. But thankfully, because of this band over here, it doesn't go up too far. And if you look at the top, they actually have like this, what do you call it? Like this dotted detail that sort of goes under the bust like that. And then it curls up. So it's really, you know, it's very subtle, but I think it's very flattering the band at the bottom of this top is also very stretchy now i did get this in a size medium okay 
only because I don't like tops like this to fit extremely snug on me. I like there to be a little bit of room and I found that this is perfect for me. If I were to repurchase this top, I would get it in a medium and not go to my small. I'm not a true small, I'm between a small and medium. So if you are between sizes like me, I would recommend sizing up. But if you like a little more compression, then I think sizing down would also work just as well for you. Again, not cheap by any means, but I've put both of these products through a lot of washing and honestly, they've held up pretty well so far. I know it's only been a month, but the thing with active wear that is good quality like this is it's going to last you a very long time. Of course, this comes down to how you take care of your leggings. I personally haven't purchased the sports bra or the shorts yet, but I am planning on doing so. If you're interested in buying those products, I'm going to have them up on the screen right now, just so you can see what they look like. I love this color so much. I think it looks so flattering, uh, you know, against our skin tone, which is something that I'm so elated about because a lot of time brands like this will do amazing colors like, you know, lilac and pink and this and that but the truth is a lot of those colors can wash us out and not look as great on indian skin tones i personally gravitate a lot towards dark colors and you can just see how gorgeous the color is i do wish i'd got this in small i'm not gonna lie but i've already cut off the tag so i can't return it at this point i'm still gonna get a lot of use out of it for sure but now when i buy the shorts and the sports bra I'm probably going to stick to a medium in the sports bra and a small in the shorts and we're going to see how that goes. I really like how it looks. It's not constrictive. It's actually very breathable. I'm going to show you like the stretch even on the leggings. It's quite a lot. All right, moving on, I'm going to show you what is probably going to be my favorite product for a very, very, very long time. Okay, I have been following this uh, creator known as Whitney Simmons for the longest time absolutely love her she's one of my favorite youtubers and she's done i think three collections with gymshark so this time when i was sort of browsing the site i saw that there was still a few pieces left from the whitney collection but i didn't invest in any clothes this time i invested in the most beautiful gym bag that you'll ever see like i am in love i love this so much i could not recommend it more but let me just stop talking and show you what i'm talking about are you ready here it is oh my god i mean okay first of all i'm pretty sure it's clear by now that i'm obsessed with this color brown but this bag is one of the best quality bags that i have ever purchased no exaggeration whatsoever it cost me 55 dollars and i will tell you if you don't want to get the clothes don't get it get this bag because First of all, this bag is massive, okay? If I were to compare this to my previous duffel, the Nike duffel that I was taking to the gym, this is probably double the size. And I really think that it's versatile because you can use it not only as a gym bag, but also while traveling. I know that, you know, when I'm gonna have like two, three day trips, this bag is going to be my carry-on for sure. It fits so many things. I really think you can fit like you can fit like a desi ghagra in here it's it, there's that much room so we've got these really nice sturdy um what do you call this straps over here and you have this velcro to sort of keep them in place which i really appreciate it just becomes a lot easier to sling this on your shoulder when you have like a padded velcro like this because otherwise it can get really heavy and painful on one shoulder if you look at the front of this oh that's my sanitizer in there <laughs> I, I always carry this little sanitizer with me to the gym but anyway you can see this branding right here this says Whitney Simmons over here and then the thing about most of her I think her third collection is a lot of the sports bras had this really um, very cute detailing where I don't even know what you call this you have like this ring and this ruched detail and I found it really cute that they added it to the bag as well you could see it on a lot of the sports bras but it just makes the the bag look a little unique so we've got this really nice stretchy mesh and this itself is not a pocket so this is just on top of the mesh pocket you have a pocket right here again very nice stretch stretchy mesh you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here i usually have my sanitizer i have my mask i have my null card which is like the metro card over here i, I put all of that in there you know basically things that i just need to sort of pick out of there i also put my keys in there sometimes however if you are afraid of you know losing your keys or you're not really comfortable with putting it in such an open compartment they also have another compartment at the back right here which you can use to oh you can see that's my null card in there so i kept it here because i was worried it would slip out 
uh, of the other compartment. So you have a really nice zipper right there with the Gymshark branding. I like how subtle the branding is because this is the back side of the bag. The material itself is like a very good quality, almost canvas kind of a feel. And you also have these really nice drawstrings at this on the side here. Oh, before I show you the interior, I must show you the zips okay there has been so much detailing that's gone into the creation of this bag this gold label right here says whitney simmons and and it says something oh yeah oh my god i, I didn't realize this until now okay so whitney simmons has this thing that she says when she starts every video and she says it's a beautiful day to be alive it's something that has you know her community of millions of people resonate with and that's exactly what's put on these zips right here i'm going to put up a close up so you can see it it's such a beautiful reminder very beautiful very like high quality luxe feeling sort of zips right here the zip itself is very smooth i've never faced any issues with that getting stuck the inside of this bag is aligned with this beautiful fabric. I don't even know what it is, but it's smooth. It feels luxurious. It feels elite, you know, I love it so much. Now, this is my gym bag and it is kind of full right now. So I'm going to empty this out and then just take you right in to show you how the inside of this bag looks like. All right, let's get into this bag. So you can see that it's lined with this very beautiful brown sort of fabric it feels really luxurious really nice so on the inside we have one of the zipper compartment along with a pocket right over here and on the other side you have like a little almost like a phone okay back in the day you could probably store a phone but here uh, i don't know maybe you can store a do one pocket right here and another pocket over here so you can see that there's a lot of space i generally store like my face wash in here a scrunchie and a clip and things like that i haven't really had to use this but i, I do believe that it can be useful especially if you want to store something that's like you know like your wallet and things like that you really want it to be inside you have another pocket which is pretty spacious now looking at the base of this bag itself you can see there's a lot of room in here so that's it for the pockets on the inside but honestly you've got like five or six pockets which are fantastic a lot of space over here we have no pockets on the other side but this does a great job at storing a bunch of things it could even store a towel honestly it's it's really that big all right so that is what this bag looks like this is called the whitney hold all it is for 55 usd i'm telling you you've got to drop everything you're doing and go and purchase this bag because it's the best thing you will ever do for yourself it doubles up as a vacation bag, a weekender bag, going to the gym. Maybe then you're going to the supermarket to get your groceries. It's going to fit everything. It's easily going to fit your shoes, your clothes, your shampoo, conditioner, body wash. If you're taking a bath at the gym, it's going to fit so many things. Like I'm not even exaggerating. This is a massive bag. It has a lot of compartments. It's super, super, super useful. And I have nothing more to say than I 100% recommend you get it. All right, guys, so concluding this video, what I want to say is number one, if you are looking for a new gym bag, get the Whitney Hold All without a doubt. Don't even think about it. If you're not fond of the brown color, I do believe that they have something similar. It's not from the Whitney Simmons collection, but they have other Hold Alls that are in black, white. I believe they have a pink barrel bag. Basically, they have a bunch of options out there. So if you're interested in bags, I'm going to leave the link uh, down below in the description box. And now for the Vital Seamless collection, again, I absolutely love the colors they've come out with. I think there's a little something for everyone in there. The material of these leggings and the crop top are fantastic. I would repurchase even though the price point is a little bit higher. I really think that active wear is an investment, especially for someone who's as active as I am. I go to the gym four or five times a week or at least I try to. I get a lot of use out of these pieces. This was my first time buying from Gymshark ever and I am honestly impressed. It is not affordable, it is pricey, it is something that I personally have to save up to purchase. Now another thing to consider is if you are in India then customs and duties can be a huge ripoff. If you have friends, family, relatives, whoever it is in the US or abroad in general, it is going to be cheaper for you to ask them to bring it for you. Different countries will have different duties. Now, personally here in Dubai, I had to pay no customs and also Gymshark gave me free shipping, which was amazing because then I only had to pay the cost of the products themselves. 
However, with a couple of other brands that I've purchased from the US or the UK that got delivered to Dubai, I had to pay a very small fraction. I would say, you know, maybe on an order value of upwards of 500 dirhams, I only had to pay like 20, 25 dirhams in terms of like duties and taxes, which is something that's super affordable, which I'm willing to pay. Shipping to India might be expensive plus customs and duties. So really, really think about this before you invest in it. Would I say it's worth it with the customs and duties? Absolutely not. Don't shell out so much money for a pair of leggings. That is going to wrap up my thoughts about Gymshark, whether it lives up to the hype. I think for me personally, it has 100%. I'm really happy with my purchase so far and I know I'm gonna get so much use out of these pieces. If you enjoyed this video and would like me to do more activewear reviews like this, then please leave me a comment below or like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me understand that you guys are liking my content. All right, so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.